Yo, what it do, what it do, Earthlings. It's the Chief Monkey Wish. Einstein, dope beats, I rhyme, don't need limelight. I shine so bright, don't fight the vibe. For the last 10 nights, I haven't been sleeping right. I'm on edge and I'm about to lose my shit. Don't make me whoop that ass like your mama never did, uh. You must be tripping, thinking I won't handle my business. You only think about tricking. My vision consists of making a difference. The same kid, frijole fed. Don't you fuck with the elote, man. Go chapo on that ass. I'm cooking MCs. Caldo de res. Throw some nopales in. I grow my own shit. I know it's fresh. You cheesy MCs are processed. Fabricated to empower. Run entitled generation that's perfect for rap racing. Claiming a nation on land that was sacred to the natives. Eradicated and you still complaining. <laughs> my fault. I wasn't intending on going that far with that line, but... Like I said, broadcasting to you live somewhere in the night sky. My guides have pushed me to make this video regarding the total lunar eclipse coming up next week, Tuesday, November 8th, 2022. It'll be the third total lunar eclipse in the last 18 months. The second in 2022 and the last until 2025 and uh, it's actually pretty special because it's it's gonna be a blood moon there should be a lot of activity a lot of you know celestial activity in the wee hours of the morning on Tuesday morning um, but yeah, total total lunar eclipse is when the moon passes through the Earth's shadow. And it only occurs when the sun and the Earth and the moon um, are exactly or at least very closely aligned. So these are the times, you know, when certain shit inside your DNA gets activated. You know what I mean? Like... Don't ask me how I know that. I just do. <laughs> I don't I can't explain it. It's just something that intuitively, you know, you feel you feel something something in the air and then, you know, these things happen naturally. Natural, you know, occurrences in the in the stars and the planetary alignment. And, uh, yeah, I was basically just wanting to explain to you that these are the times to set intentions, to open those portals, you know, to take those leaps of faith and, and meditate on energy that you want to focus on in the next coming months, years, days, minutes, whatever. Um, so I would like to set the intention to take a step in the right direction. Questions have been aggressively testing my intuition. So I listen to the silence, divine guidance, go with the flow, a lonely road, struggling, striding, living the now or living the now. That's not how I get down. You cramping my style, but I just want to see that frown turn around, act. Activate your crown, hop in my ship, we can lift off the ground. You feel the vibe from my sounds from males in the distance. Nonetheless, a karmic test, I cherish the friendship. It only takes an instant and things can be very different. When the going gets tough, the tough get desperate. This is a message of love transcendent. The blessings aren't always apparent, but we can share it. Generational wealth, let the kids inherit. From rags to riches, I feel you, spirit. And on that note, I wish you all love, light, longevity, healing, 
and spiritual growth as you traverse the earth to serve your highest purpose, define yours. And uh, thank you for joining me and liking my content, sharing my content, subscribing. I appreciate you all. 900 of you, you're going in history. We're making history right now. And the more people that, you know, interact with my content, engage with it, comment, you know, like and share it, well, then that helps our community grow. And I'm here to let you know that we are walking the road less traveled. So buckle up. <laughs> All right, y'all. Catch you in the next one. Do your lunar eclipse work. Peace.